your environment that you're born in does not and cannot dictate your future not because you're born in a certain environment it does not dictate your future you have the ability and the power to change your environment fierce daughter is a proper example listen this woman was in an environment where she had everything but she just senses something all right all the gods of egypt she find herself just couldn't stand them she find herself just couldn't believe in what our father believed in and it is telling us that serving god is not something that you inherit by biologically it is a belief system that you must have for yourself first chronicles 4 and read from verse 18 and these are the sons of bethia the daughter of pharaoh which mary took this woman was converted to judaism this woman actually fall in line and leave the gods of egypt and actually became an israelite convert when moses said that the death angel was going to pass you know where fierce daughter was fierce daughter was over there with the children of israel celebrating the passover she had children and the reason why her children survived her firstborn was because she was with the israelites and when the death angel was passing, Pharaoh's daughter was covered and protected by the blood as well. Can I say to somebody, not because you're born in a certain environment, it doesn't mean you have to stay there. She left out of Egypt when the children of Israel were leaving. Pharaoh's daughter was there as well, marching out. Pharaoh's daughter crossed the Red Sea. Pharaoh's daughter was at the bitter waters of Mar. She ate manna that far from heaven. They were swallowed by the sea. So that means uh, what is a blessing to you is a curse to your enemy. My God, somebody missed that. What God uses as your blessing is a curse to your enemy. And that's why we should not fear what our enemies say and do. Because what they tried to do to you as a curse, God will turn it into your blessing. The Bible says no weapon, talk to me church, no weapon that is formed against God's people shall be able to prosper and i love this verse it says and every tongue that riseth up in judgment god will condemn them saints of god do you know who you are do you know the opportunity that god has given to you the bible says as fearful as they were and the world was not uh, even worthy of them with all these different things guess what happened none of them received the holy ghost none of them were baptized in the name of jesus christ so even though they stood out you need to understand that being a part of the church you are a part of something that's better than that they had you are a part of something that's greater and this is why you should not look at yourself and say Elijah is better than me you should not say David is better than me you should not even say um, Abraham is better than me because none of them never receive the Holy Ghost none of them never speak in tongues all of them just look to the future and say that is beautiful it's something that is to come but they never experience what you experience by being baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost saints of God you have something better you have something better you have something better greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world somebody lift your hands and give God glory